Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Do you want to know how you can break your fast? Well, stick around because I'm going to tell you how. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys, it has been quite a week. It's been quite a week. Last week, I was woken up by the smell of smoke. Sorry, this thing's a little heavy. But, it was about 5 o'clock in the morning. And I was woken up by the smell of smoke. And I'm freaking out, you guys. Oh. <sighs> After searching the entire house, I finally found the culprit. It was an electrical outlet. Like I've told some of you in the past on my other channel, this is an old house. We bought it as a fixer-upper. So we're just kind of going through the house slowly, fixing it up. But anyways, after I called the fire department and they pretty much disconnected the... Um, wiring and the power to that area they um cut the wires and got everything fixed um what happened was somehow or another the the wiring grounded itself out in there because this house is so old, it, well, it's not old, old, it's, it's, it's getting on up there in years, but like I said, we bought it as a fixture upper, but somehow the wiring grounded itself out and caused a spark and it was just smoldering. Um, there was not really any damage, uh, just the it melted the electrical outlets and some of the wiring so we've got that fixed and all of that is good and well and i thought i was gonna die i thought i was gonna burn the house down but we didn't we caught it in time before it actually caught on fire so that was a very eventful morning but other than that everything's been going great my husband passed his test which is awesome. He took his test yesterday and uh, he he passed it. So I'm really, really proud of him for doing that. And uh, he can get the ball rolling on other stuff. So very, very proud of him for doing that. My daughter's doing very well in school. She's... Um, doing a more low carb approach so she can have more concentration in school plus she's um drinking a little bit more ketones or she's drinking ketones now so that way she can concentrate a little bit more in school and it's helped her out drastically the last week i've seen a very noticeable difference in her in, in her schoolwork, so that's awesome. I love Privet Ketones. Um, she's found a flavor that she likes and she's going to stick with that. So that's great. I'm down five more pounds. I've lost five more pounds in the past two weeks, which, which that is so awesome. Um, I've got a little setup. Sorry. But I've got a little setup in my dining room that I want to do because we only we don't use the dining room that often just to eat basically and and sometimes we like to watch a movie and eat so it doesn't get used that often so what i'm thinking about doing is just setting up a little station in here where i can do some workouts because um my daughter likes to watch tv in the living room sometimes so i don't want to disturb her with that so i figured 
if I just come in here and set up a little section in here for me or my daughter if she wants to work out she can um, she can practice her dances she can just hook her computer up to the TV in here and she can practice her dancing for school or to stay in shape whatever she wants to do bless her heart she's so she she loves YouTube <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do um, going to finish setting that up really quickly and see how that turns out and then we will sit down and talk about intermittent fasting and how to break your fast and some ways that I like to break my fast which has helped me a lot so I'm just going to move things around in here and set all of this up and see how it works how the flow is and maybe get a little workout in um I'm just going to mess around with everything in here and see what I can do see where everything can fit and uh, bring all of my workout gear and stuff in here so I'm going to do that really quickly and uh, I will see you back in just a few minutes chopping off the top of my head sorry guys this tripod is very heavy for it to be so small it packs a punch I can tell you that but anyways I'm going to get that going and I will show you how it turns out all right guys I've just got all this cleaned up I've got my little caddy here with all of my exercise equipment in there like my jump rope my weights um, my yoga mat my roller thing here that rolls out your muscles my quest, my bike, I've got my tripod right there, and then over here I've just got all that tidied and cleaned up, but over here is, I've just got my TV and um, DVD player sitting out on the table, this won't stay here, I've got a place where I can take it down and put it, where I can just easily put it up. Um, but yeah I've got that right there I've got all of this room here where my daughter can dance or I can work out and we still can take this down like I said and get it out of the way and then we can eat here um, so that's not a big problem you just have to utilize the spaces that you're in all right you guys before I end this video I just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys just a little bit about intermittent fasting and how to break your fast now I've already broke my fast I broke my fast about two hours ago I've had dinner um, I've done some other stuff I put some laundry on to wash I put some laundry on to dry I've done the dishes tidied up the kitchen so all that is done so all I have left to do for the night is um, just pretty much take a shower and call it quits for the night but before I do that I want to just talk with you about how to break your fast now like I said a minute ago I broke my fast about two hours ago um, I broke my fast with some vegetable broth I like to break my fast with some sort of liquid with fat in it because I think it just helps with your fasting um, you get fuller quicker it doesn't spike too much of anything so it doesn't go nuts now when you do break your fast and you do consume food you are going to spike your blood sugar there's no way around it it's, it's just normal but how I like to break it, like I said is uh, some type of liquid with the fat in it today I brought my uh, broke my fast with vegetable broth with a little bit of coconut oil in there some days I will do a coffee with MCT oil or coconut oil or I will do like a green tea with coconut oil um, some days I will do like a fat coffee with coffee and butter it just depends on the day 
Um, I like to do this to break my fast before I have any food because it helps me to um, regulate my intake of food. It helps me get full quicker so that way I don't snack later, um, if that makes sense. Some days you can break your fast with a meal. I have done this before, but I find drinking some sort of liquid with fat in it helps me later on in the day. It gives me energy. It keeps me satiated when I do break my fast with food. Um, so that's how I do that. But if you want to break your fast with food, you can do some sort of breakfast. I like to break my fast with either bacon or eggs with some type of um, either olive oil, coconut oil, or butter, maybe some tallow, whichever one you prefer with your eggs. And just scramble that up or fry it and then just um, cookie some bacon on the side. That's one way that you can break a fast which is pretty light but with the fats in there it's going to keep you satiated for a longer period of time. Sometimes I will add cheese in my eggs but I always add mineral salt to the food that I'm eating so that way I get the minerals back in my food. Now if you want to break your fast with a lunch you can do something like a salad with chicken or salmon maybe some full fat ranch or blue cheese whichever one you prefer that's really good to break your fast you get a lot of vegetables you get your fat source and you get a good amount of protein in that so that's really good to break your fast sometimes I'll do like a chicken salad to break my fast or um, I'll grill up a piece of salmon and have with salad with some blue cheese on the side it just depends on how I'm feeling that day um, if you want to break your fast like if you're doing an OMAD I suggest breaking your fast with some type of liquid like um, coffee with butter, coffee with MCT oil or coconut oil or uh, some kind of bone broth. Kettle and fire is really good or you can make your own, whichever you want. But um, if you're going to break your fast with food for dinner, if you're doing an OMAD, you can do like bison, deer, chicken, pork. You can do poultry um, or some type of keto friendly fish like salmon, um, uh, steak, chicken, ground beef, whichever one you prefer is, as long as it's keto friendly and it's made with good fats, you're okay on that. Um, just do so put, just put some mineral salt on there, flavor it however you want, put whatever seasonings you want on there. And you can also have like keto friendly vegetables on the side. Now some keto friendly vegetables are, um, there's a lot out there, but you can do things like cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, you can do avocados, green leafy vegetables. Um, olives, cucumber, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, tomato, bell pepper. Go light on the bell pepper because they do have a little bit more carbs. So does tomatoes. Um, you can do cabbage. Sometimes I'll do regular cabbage or sometimes I will do bok choy, whichever I'm feeling. Um, you can do green beans, which I would go a little light on the green beans because they do have a higher carb count, but are still keto friendly. You can do asparagus, eggplant, radish. Um, radishes are a great replacement for potatoes. Um, you can do a spaghetti squash. You can do regular squash, but I would just kind of watch it because they do have a little bit of a higher carb count. You can do mushrooms, celery. Um, just go and do your research on which vegetables you like and um, which vegetables you can and can't have on the ketogenic diet but there's a wide range of vegetables that you can have on the keto diet um yeah just do your research on that um make sure you're adding in your minerals for your meals because it helps to get in those minerals 
Um, another thing that I was wanting to talk to you about was drinks that you can have while in ketosis. Now, when you're in ketosis, now when you're doing an intermittent fasting, you don't want to consume any food in that fasting period. Say you're doing a 16 hour fast. Um, within that 16 hours, you don't want to consume any food. But there are some drinks that you can have that will help during your fasting period, if that makes sense. You can have things like unsweetened tea in small amounts, like maybe get you a glass and then sip on it throughout the day. You can do coffee um, in small amounts because it is caffeinated. You can do decaf on the coffee and the tea, so it's a little bit better and uh, there's no caffeine in it. Um, just make sure you're doing that in a small amounts. Um, of course, you can do water. You can have all the water that you want. Um, apple cider vinegar is really good for um, intermittent fasting. You can have that on uh, while you're in your fasting state. Um, you can just add it into some water with a little bit of mineral salt and you're good to go. You can also have just a little bit of lemon depending um, on you because some people lemon does kick you out of ketosis, some it don't. So you'll have to just um, check your blood sugar and your ketone levels to make sure that you are in ketosis if you're drinking lemon. But just add it in some water with a little bit of salt, um, you're good to go. You can do any type of broth, like vegetable broth, chicken broth, beef broth, um, especially bone broth because you're getting in all of those um, nutrients from the broth. So that's a really good thing that you can have. You can also have a little bit of unsweetened almond milk um, because there's really not that much sugar in almond milk. So just make sure that you get the unsweetened kind and just be sure to check your label on everything to make sure that you can have it while you're in a uh, fasting period so if there's anything in there that's you know if it's sugar you kind of can't have it while you're fasting so i just wanted to pop on here and talk to you guys a little bit about that and uh, share with you guys some tips that i've found that's helped me while um intermittent fasting and breaking my fast they've helped me a lot so I hope this helps you I hope that um, it encourages you to make better choices in your lifestyle like me I've made some terrible choices in the past with my um, my food intake and stuff like that so watching people and and uh, getting knowledge on that really helps so Alright guys, I'm just going to end the vlog here and I will see you guys in the next video. Hit that little subscribe button down below if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and tick that little notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.